that wasn't them. That was me. See, poison. It's an infection. He gives me the mod menu, and then I can help. Then I can troll and kind of play around with people on zombies. I can't do it with multiplayer, only zombies. And most of the time, I don't even use it because most of the time, I don't even like playing zombies because sometimes it gets annoying because I'm on a high round, and then I die, and then it makes me mad. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit you talking about. You need to apologize for the shit I heard, bro. Or you going offline. I'm telling you, I got your IP right here. You need to apologize, bro. I just bought this game today, and I get on here, and everybody's hacking and shit. Either you apologize for the shit I heard, or I'm going to take you offline for the rest of the night. I'm going to fry your fucking motor. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, say I'm sorry. say I'm sorry, Fraser boy. I'm sorry, Fraser boy. <laughs> <laughs> what is up nerds this is Frazier boy if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel if you're a subscriber welcome back you already know how I get down man I kill nerds and I talk shit I'm playing some Call of Duty World at War today I went and picked this game up Friday from GameStop. I think I spent around like $12. Overall, I think I should have paid about $5 for this game because every lobby I was getting into was like fucking hack the shit. Like people was flying around, people was doing the jetpack boost shit. If you want to play Advanced Warfare, go play this game because people can actually like jetpack boost from side to side. It was crazy, man. I don't understand why people hack this game and play it the way they play it it's fucking ridiculous dude but i finally got into an okay lobby and i said let me get some gameplay since ain't nobody here bullshit but the clip you seen before that that was me talking shit to hackers in every lobby every lobby i got in i started running my fucking mouth if i heard them talking about hacking or trying to get a hack lobby going and some shit like that and basically what it is it's a whole bunch of little fucking kids a whole bunch of little fucking squeakers are hacking this game i don't understand how a 10 year old can actually break a code inside of an xbox live game and be able to hack it to where they can fly move around like a fucking ghost i don't i don't understand it one live i was getting in the dude just kept calling in helicopter strikes i, I didn't i didn't understand it. i was i was getting frustrated because I just bought the game and I wanted to experience the game for what it was and it's like I really can't like I have to lobby hop to get in a good lobby with decent people and shit was really really pissing me off but I really do like this game man it, it kind of took me back to the old PlayStation 2 days when I first started playing Call of Duty and Medal of Honor and shit like that this really did make me feel like I was in a world at war type game it really did make me feel like I was in the army or some shit like some throwback shit so I had a lot of fun playing this game the gun I'm using right here is like a FNL it's like a burst fire so all the gun all the gun kills you see is me with that trigger finger so I was on real deal try hard mode this night and I was going ham and I think you actually get the dogs on this game with seven kills. Imagine if you can get the dogs with seven kills on Black Ops 2. Like people would be raging hard as fuck. The dogs in this game is not that OP though like in Black Ops 2. The dogs in this game is like, they kind of like mediocre or some shit like that. Like you can, you can stab them and they die. You put like a couple of shots in them and they die. Imagine if you could stab Riley on Ghost and he died. That would save a lot of people a lot of headache and pain because on Ghost, you could put down there two clips inside Riley and he's still going to be charging your ass. But when I was playing this game, something hit me and had me thinking. This was my first time ever playing World at War Online. I played Call of Duty 1, I played Call of Duty 2 Story Mode. But when I sit back and look at this game, this is a real deal first person military shooter. And when I look at the new Call of Duty that's about to get ready to come out, I can see why those real deal diehard fans who have been playing for the last 10 years could be mad. Look at this game and look at the new Call of Duty that's coming out. Call of Duty has gone a long way from where it originally started from. And I try to compare that to Gears of War because I'm a real deal Gears of War fan. If, Gears of War, if the new Gears of War had like jetpacks in it, I would be mad too. 
like it, it just kind of hit me man i can see why those people are upset about the way that call of duty is going the people who have been playing since day one let me know in the comment section below what you think about that on how call of duty used to be a real world at war type game like a real military game to all this advanced shit i really don't give a fuck i just want a fun game but i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like leave a comment and until next time keep it gaming i'm out deuce